Greetings, cadets. Today we are going to cover the type of assassination missions where your targets may be harder to find. First, you set your destination as usual. Then you fly to said system. As you can see, yet again, we are using the mighty federal gunship of the mighty Federation. We will not bore you with how to get there, because you should know that by now. Instead, we will jump ahead until entering the system. Once you drop out of warp, you will get a message. Instead of your normal message showing where the destination is, you'll get a message from another pilot saying your target is not in system. If it doesn't show up, either pulse your advanced discovery scanner like our pilot did here, or fly to the navigation beacon and scan it. As you can see, we have a message showing us to fly to this particular system because they have word telling us where our target is. So, we plot destination to that system. Nowhere in the system, just the system itself, and then we fly there. Once you drop out of warp in the new system, Stay in Super Cruise, but slow down and fly away from the star. You will soon see an NPC in your panel. It will be the only named NPC without scanning it. If it takes a while to see them, drop out of Super Cruise and then re-enter Super Cruise, and then they should show up. As you can see, our training pilot has found our informant. You should fly towards them slowly because they will send you a message telling you to follow them out of warp. You lock on to their signal and you drop out of warp where they did. Once you jump out of warp onto their low wake and they are there, you should get a message in a second telling you they saw your target in another system. It will almost, if not always, be the system you were just in, as it is here. This is more filler than anything. You already know where you're going, commanders. It's where you just were. So you replot, go into the system app, because now you have a destination, set destination, and jump your happy ass back to that system you were just in. Once back in that system, and our commander is double-checking to make sure it is selected, because sometimes it screws up, you do the arduous task of flying to your destination. Every time we have done this, it has been the previous system you started in. However, you should double-check just to make sure. It's usually a planet. You fly down, you slow down, and you start circling this thing like a retard until you get a little message on your thing saying mission, mission objective found. Then you set destination to that, and you drop out of work, and your target should be there. And there we have it. It will show up on your navigation panel. All you have to do is lock the target, use your compass, fly to it, and drop out like you would any other signal source. And here we go, commanders. This is where the fun begins. It's time to have your enemies of the Federation eat land. 
We will let this video play in its entirety for you to enjoy. And there we go, Commanders. It's really that simple. You should get a message saying your mission is completed. Once that pops in, and you get your fighter back if you're flying the mighty Federal gunship or any other ship with fighter, you set your destination back to where you got the mission, and you jump your happy ass back there knowing you did well for the Federation. Once you land and rearm your ship and repair your ship, make sure to go into advanced maintenance and repair your structure. It will degrade over time. It will significantly reduce your ability to take hits. And the game does not tell you this. It is not self-explanatory. You need to check it. We have lost many ships to new newer pilots because of this. But all you do is you land like you always do, turn in your mission, make some money, you are both more well off and advanced the cause of the mighty Federation. Fly safe, Commanders. <laughs>